Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome to Last Generate Survival. So everybody's goal is to get some more loot, and obviously to store that loot, you have to have some more space in the base, and today we're gonna get more loot by doing some more raids, and I already have two raids ready waiting for us, but before we do that, as I said, we need to upgrade our base just to be able to store more loot, and uh, I still know that some people don't know how you can store here more items in one chest, so over here we can store 45 items here in one slot, you can upgrade your chest all the way up to 70, and you do that by clicking this arrow up here in the top right corner and boom over here we can upgrade this rack so let's now upgrade it and here we should be able to store now even more items boom let's do this and check this out now we can store 50 items here in one slot so i have here a lot more storage that is amazing now we will also require to get some more ash planks because that's how we can upgrade these racks so we already have for those curious, I have two max racks. If I'm not mistaken, maybe we have more. But hey, we have this rack at uh, this rack at level 11, and we have another rack at level 11 here as well. So, welcome once again to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, head to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. Look, us doing some raids, us clearing the transport hub, opening up transport hub crates, and all of that other sweet, sweet stuff. So once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to see all of you here. And uh, yeah, let's just get some hatchets and let's go for the first raid of the day. As I said, we already have two raids ready. So yeah, today we're going to do a decent amount of raids. The more the better. I'm probably going to craft a few level two hatchets here real quick. Let's craft some of them. And next comes survival video when I've just literally posted it yesterday, guys. There was a literal scum survival video yesterday. There will be more scum survival though, no worries. There will be more scum survival very soon. So no worries about that. I'm glad that you guys are interested in Scum Survival. That is very, very nice. There will be more of it. That's all I can say. I don't have the exact date. But very soon, next week probably, it'll be... Another episode will be out. Also, let's get another Glock before we go to that right. Because this Glock is kind of broken. I think if we take both of these broken Glocks plus that full durability Glock, it will be plenty. Let's get these. And we are totally ready. Yo, Zachary Castleman. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Zachary. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here. Welcome, welcome. We just need to get now AC4 and then we can go for the rain. Say, Jela SB Sashko, no name, Banik, Dekoi. Welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined. There's no way I'll be able to read all of your names. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see you all over here. The scum video yesterday was amazing and... Uh, and uh, yeah, William, thanks for... Thanks for watching the video. Thank you, thank you. You're the king of the headshots and scum. I mean, the zombies were pretty stationary. They don't really move, so it's kind of easy to get those headshots. But hey, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks for watching the scum videos. And hey, this will be the first raid of the day that we do. So let's go. So let's hop to this raid. Let's buckle up, buckaroos, and let's do it. Can you make a video for survival games for low end PC? I mean, you can probably play Minecraft. That's like one of the better scum survival videos out there. Hey, one of the better survival survival games. And it should work on lower end PC, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I mean, I played it literally on like a 15 year old laptop. So it should be fine. Okay, what do we have here? Six, seven chests, ladies and gentlemen. So let's start opening up those chests. Hello, what's happening after raids? More raids. Psych, are you sure? Yes, more raids. It's never enough raids. More raids. Okay, so we have a Glock. Uh, let's take it. I'm not going to say no to that. We've gotten here 50 combat coupons or whatever they were called. Yellow tickets. Some people call them orange tickets, which I think is the correct way. They're probably orange tickets. Some might say that a side are clearly yellow. And maybe to some of you, they're yellow. I mean, the gold bar is yellow. Both of these things, it's darker yellow. I mean, it's kind of orange. Like, it's, it doesn't matter. We're not going to start that debate again. If it's orange or yellow ticket. You know what you know. And I know what I know. We all know that it's an orange ticket. And that's it. Oh, another Glock. Wow. This rate is actually better than I expected. Let's get this. Let's get some aluminum. Whatever. I'll bring that. There's also one more chest in the top right corner, except it's hidden behind that iron node. So we'll need to do something about that. What are your graphic settings? Minimal, because currently the game is lagging on higher settings. Something happened with the game, and the game's lagging. 
Okay, another Glock, ladies and gentlemen. We have gotten, like, what, four Glocks from this raid already? Kind of decent. Kind of really, really nice. Okay, let's pop that Toxic Abomination. I will get another hatchet. Why wouldn't I take it? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna start picking berries and grass. And uh, more armor. Okay, perhaps I will take that armor. That way I'll have more space. I mean, I will equip that armor on me. Probably that's what we'll do. Decent raid, Pog. It is a decent raid. Like, it's not a great raid. Like, it's not like, wow, a 10 out of 10 raid. But it is indeed a decent raid. I absolutely agree with you. Okay, let's drop these three Glocks that we've just gotten. We also have... Wait, we just got three Glocks? What did I think we had four Glocks? Okay, so we had only three Glocks from this raid, not four. I did use a few Glocks here myself for this raid, so... Yeah, I mean, we could be using melee weapons for raids, but... Hey. We're not doing that. At least not yet. Once we run out of Glocks fully, then maybe I'll start bringing melee weapons here. Ooh, another Glock. Another red ticket. More electronic circuits. And on top of all of that, this is a revenge raid. Hmm. I like that. This raid is awesome. And hey, after this raid, we have one more raid. Let's get the pickaxe. Let's destroy this thing. There we go. We did it. Let's now destroy the fast fighters. Silly, silly fast biters. Take the bauxite and aluminum bars. I think we already have a lot of aluminum bars. We don't really need to take more. Okay, now we can open up that chest in the very corner. And there we go. Here we had another stack of bandages. So we've gotten, what, two stacks of bandages, four Glocks, and... Some other loot? I mean... Sounds decent to me. How do I open up this thing? There we go. I mean, green. We already have a lot of green tickets. So yeah, this raid was pretty nice. I like it. Whatever, I'm gonna bring these aluminum bars. So yeah, this raid gets Sykes approval. It's a nice raid. It gets Sykes approval. For those who didn't know, I have bumped up Sykes approval rating. So now you need to... So now the raids have to be like at least 3 out of 10. And yeah, this raid was definitely a 3 out of 10. Maybe I'd give it like a 4 out of 10 even. It's, it was a fun raid. Uh, not a horrible raid. We had some chests to open up. Somebody said 7 out of 10. Well, that's very generous. I mean, again, you can guys raid those raids however you want. I mean, 7 out of 10 for 4 guns. I mean, plus it was a revenge raid. So, I mean, it gets a 5 at least. Maybe a 7. I don't know. It doesn't care, guys. Numbers are all relative, right? It doesn't matter. It was a great raid. It, it gets my approval, and that's what's important today. I am low on springs. Springs are incredibly easy to get. All you have to do is just recycle some of your guns. And plus, they're everywhere. I think you can even get springs in Coinvoy events. But just recycle, like, whatever durability guns. Even low durability guns, you will get springs. They're extremely easy to get. Okay, so let's get ready for that second raid. As I said, we have two raids to do today. Except before we do this, let's try to at least sort out our inventory somehow, some way, right? Let's get rid of the things that we don't need. Let's pop these berries. Let's drop the coupons inside of this bookshelf. It's like, do you recommend your base design to someone who wants to redesign their base? You can't really redesign bases in the game because you can't wall... You can't redesign bases in this game because you can't move walls. So, I mean, there's that. I don't know how will you redesign it, just when you move your boxes. I mean, you can put your boxes however is more comfortable for you. I think you should design a base what, how you want. It's not a game, it's not like Rust, where you can go on YouTube and search for like, hey, great base designs, like anti-raid like designs or something. There are no base designs in this game. You can build whatever base you want. So just build whatever you prefer and that's it. There are no base designs, sadly, in this game. Because they don't matter. I mean, you can build your bases however you want, but the base designs don't matter. That's what I'm getting at. Let's drop that here. 
And uh, yeah, boom, another Glock. Let's also empty the chopper. Let's not forget about that. For some reason, the big one sp always spawns in red locations now. I don't know if I can confirm that. I haven't seen big ones spawn in red locations in a while. It's like you don't go to red locations. That's a good point. You guys have a good point there. Um, um, the brain is working at full capacity, believe it or not. There we go. Glocks go there. I'm going to take the armor. I will take one electronic circuit just so that I can drop it in the bait chest. For those who don't know how bait chests work, you drop stuff in bait chests and then raiders will come and raid your base. And they'll steal that loot and you'll be able to get a revenge raid because if they don't steal anything, you won't get a revenge raid. Okay, a few level one hatchets and we are ready to go for the second raid. Four and I think five, there we go. We got enough of everything. Big one spawning is like 50-50. I don't know. I mean, he is, he always spawned in red zones. Some people say that he spawns more often if you are stinking. Which I can maybe even confirm. It feels like when you sting, the big one spawns more often. So I guess that's like somewhat true. I guess so. Okay, we need now... Um, raiders, raiders, raiders. Oh yeah, we need to do one more task. Uh, is just to craft the armor. So let's just craft it real quick. And let's go, guys, for the second raid of the day. And not the last one. We'll do even more raids. One, two. Tactical trousers and the tactical boots. I love this update, but now we can craft everything we want. Without having items in, my, in the inventory. I think I'll keep saying that at least for the next year. Because it's a huge deal. That was a huge quality of life improvement. I love it. I absolutely love it. When you get common mods on M16, what? Common mods are pretty common. I always thought you, if you drive instead of run to red, he spawns. Um, maybe. I don't know. I haven't tested that. But the point is, I wanted to spawn the big one once in a swamp zone. I think I told that story already many times, but he doesn't... He, he, he never spawned there. I think I've spent an hour, two hours maybe, trying to spawn him and he never spawned. It's like, would you recommend Bluestacks for a kind of low-end computer? You can check out LD Player. From what I've heard, LD Player is very lightweight. And a lot of people say that it's great, so make sure to check it out. If it doesn't work, try Bluestacks. So there we go. Let's go for the for the for the second raid of the day. Let's go on YouTube, and let's type LDO raid. What raid are we doing? Calamity, LDO raid. Calamity, is it any good? I feel, guys, like this might be a huge raid. Your mind will be blown from this raid. Absolutely. There we go. Blown mind. My mind is blown as well. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's go for it. If you could change something in Last on Earth, what could it be? I keep talking about that every live stream. I mean, there are lots of things that I could change. Maybe I should like actually start writing that stuff down. Otherwise, it'll be just easier for me to open up. Yeah, I'm going to do it. LDOE ideas. I'm going to add a TXT file here, desktop LDOE ideas. And yeah, maybe after this raid, I'll talk more about them. Maybe I'll start writing them down. So every time somebody asks that question, I don't have to like constantly keep thinking about it. I can just read off of that like script or something and that's it. Those are the ideas that I'd like to add because I have a lot of ideas. Like adding rockets to this game, for example. I guess I'm kidding. I don't want rockets and I just made a mistake. Didn't mean to go through that thing. I'll have to... I won't fit through both of these workbenches, will I? Oh, I fit. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Okay, let's start opening up these chests. Um, I'll get the nails. We don't really need more iron as I already have a lot of that stuff in the base. Idea number one, let us choose that stupid blueprint we need. Yeah, we should definitely get way... We should definitely have more ways of obtaining blueprints. 
Because right now it's kind of silly that you keep getting random blueprints and there's no way to obtain the blueprints that you need. It's kind of stupid. Still, now it's easier to get blueprints than ever. Seriously. It's a lot easier to get blueprints now than a few years ago, but it's still difficult. Let's get some more Glocks. And wait, I completely forgot. Zachary Castleman, thanks for the super chat. It appeared 13 minutes ago. I, I said thanks in my head and everything, but I don't think I said it out loud, dude. I just realized it. Thanks, Zachary. Thank you, thank you. Unless I did say thanks and I don't remember now. Well, Zachary, thanks, man. Thanks for the water of shame uh, super chat. I really apologize that. I was doing the intro at the very beginning and I totally forgot. So, I, mate, if I forgot, I apologize. If I didn't, I apologize anyways. Welcome, mate. Welcome once again. Apologies for having a small brain. For that, they should add more mods. I mean, the game already has a lot of mods, and all of those mods are bad, so what's the point of adding more mods, more garbage mods that you should never assemble? Like, it kind of doesn't make sense, does it? At least in my opinion. If they want to add more mods, like, maybe they have to be a bit more unique, but right now they're only, like, a few good mods, and those are the only mods that you should craft. Like, you shouldn't craft anything else. Unless they add better mods. Unless they add better mods, but there will always be the best mod, right? Unless they add garbage mods, and those garbage mods are, like, stupid cheap to craft, like, some rags or something. JY, thanks for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome, JY. Happy Psych, when more Rust videos or live streams? There might be more Rust live streams, I don't know when. But uh, there might be more Rust live streams. That's all I can say for now, as I don't know myself. But there might be more. We are not done with Rust for sure. I think there will be more Rust. Either videos or live streams or something, actually, to reveal a secret that is not a secret at all. I'm thinking about starting just a channel dedicated to Rust. I'd be uploading there like maybe once a week. I mean, it would depend. I have no idea what would be the upload schedule. I'd love that, but I don't know when, how, and uh, I don't know if I'd have enough time for it, but I'd love to do that, but I don't know. So in any case, that was the raid. Does it get Psyx approval? We have gotten some food. Is it a 3 out of 10, though? To get Psyx approval, it, it has to be a 3 out of 10. Maybe you can guys raid this base. Maybe you could guys raid this base. Do a 24-hour live stream of rest. Oof. Oof. I don't know when I do 24-hour live streams. I mean, 24-hour live streams are cool on paper, but most of you watching here right now, you won't watch 24 hours of it. You'll watch only like a few hours. So, I mean, yeah. But we'll see. Perhaps. 2.99 out of 10. It's a simple gamer. 2.7 out of 10. So, no. Yeah, I wouldn't give it a 3 out of 10. So, yeah, a lot of you... Don't seem to give it your approval either. So yeah, it's probably not 10 out of 10. We should bring empty bottles to raids to steal fuel, fuel from choppers. If they have any fuel, sometimes choppers don't have fuel. But I agree. It's a good idea to bring empty bottles. Absolutely. Okay, now we need to find a way to store these things. We are running out of storage. More carrots. Oh, that's it. We sorted out our inventory. Just like that. Beautiful. We can probably get ready for another raid. We've just started the live stream and we've already done two raids. Except maybe before we go for another raid, how about we go and uh, chop some ash trees? Because today I was able to upgrade one of those racks at the very beginning of the live stream. And the only reason I was able to do that is because I farmed ash. Because I, far I kept farming two stacks of ash every time I go live. So how about we do this again, right? I mean, only two stacks. It's almost nothing. Plus, we'll get our ATV for a spin. We'll take it for a spin. You don't get your ATV for a spin. You take it for a spin. So let's take our ATV for a spin. Let's do this. 24-hour live stream would be interesting. Perhaps one day. Perhaps, perhaps. It would be very taxing. Like, taxing on my body. What would I... Like, streaming for 24 hours, it's kind of cool. But at the same time... I don't know. I'd have to start in the evening, but if I start in the evening, that'd be kind of silly. Because if I start in the morning, 
If I start the live stream in the morning, I'll end it in the morning and then what, I'm gonna sleep during the day? It kinda makes no sense. So I'd have to live stream in the evening, plus I don't think I'll be able to stream in the night. What will the neighbors think? So yeah, doing 24 hour live stream isn't something that I'm very interested in. But who knows, we never know, right? We never know. Tomorrow guys, buckle up for the 24 hour live stream. I haven't paid the Raiders yet. Holy moly. Let's try to get an electronic circuit and let's try to give those raiders something. Uh, what way should I progress through the game, says Edis. I have a chopper and level two boxes of guns. What should I do next? Keep clearing Bunker Alpha. Make sure to check out my free-to-play playlist. And keep grinding the police department. Invest those guns in the police department and... Uh, keep playing the game. Start building the boat. Start going to sewers. 12-hour live streams is fair enough. Yeah, yeah, 12 hours uh, is definitely doable, except what are we going to play during those 12 hours, Rust? As I said, if we had a game that people are interested in, if I could stream it for 12 hours, I'd, like, definitely stream it for 12 hours. It is absolutely doable. It's just that there is no way I'd be able to stream Last on Earth for 12 hours. There isn't enough content for 12 hours. Um, Revenger. I think the farm is already reset, so we can't go there. As I said, we are going to go and do another raid. Except before we do that, I need to go and uh, farm some ash. Um, let's get some hatchets. Two, three, four. Wait, we don't need more of these hatchets. I'm an idiot. Like, I had a complete donut. Complete donut from donuts. Not, not a seasoned donut. Just a stupid... No taste. Like bad texture. Moldy. Maybe even kind of stale donut. Rust, scum, last on earth. Geoguesser. Maybe. Most of the people leave the live stream after a few hours. I mean, I'm gonna just sit alone there for the rest of the hours. Like, let's say I'll do it. After four hours, majority of the people will go anyways. So, like, I'll be sitting alone there streaming for 12 hours. So, doing long live streams isn't always worth it. Oh my goodness. I'm stupid. I can't, I can't get ready. I can't get the right weapons. Can't get the right stuff. There we go, flare guns, and I think it should be enough. Three, there we go, let's get four flare guns, I'm ready. Let's also get the ghillie suit. Four hour live stream then, sure. We have a lot of four hour live streams already on the channel. We have like six and eight hour live streams. Uh, the brain is working at full capacity, that's it, we are ready to go. I wonder how long it would take to clear every location. I think six hours, maybe. Four, six hours, it depends. To clear every location in every difficulty, I think six hours, max. Maybe six, eight hours, Depend depends on how you do it. If you try to rush it or be slower. Like eight hours for sure, you can probably complete every location in eight hours. I don't know. It's kind of pulling out those numbers out of uh, thin air. Okay, let's go to the wild bogs, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get two stacks of ash trees. You could do that perhaps one day. What are the best mods for the VSS? It depends. How many VSSs you got? If you have only three VSSs, then I don't really know if it's worth it for you to craft any mods on it at all. Make sure to go on YouTube and type LDOE Cyric mods. And I have two videos explaining all the mods and everything. So you can just check that stuff out. Yeah, I guess.
Okay, let's chop this thing down. I missed Resident Evil. I miss Resident Evil as well. I still try to watch every stream no matter the game. Resident Evil had me on the edge of my seat every time, so Shauna. I agree, Resident Evil was epic. I liked Resident Evil. If we ever get like any DLCs or something, well, I'm not sure about DLCs, but whenever we get like Resident Evil 9 or something, I'll definitely play it. Wait, yeah, Resident Evil 9, but I don't think we're getting Resident Evil 9. I, uh, 9, I think we might get some other remakes like Resident Evil 5 remake, maybe. Maybe Resident Evil 1 remake. Who knows? Who knows? Grip or drum for M16? Absolutely grip. Drum magazine is, isn't the best. Grip magazine is the best mod for your M16. Let's do the third shot here. And let's open this thing up. Did you play Resident Evil 4 Remake? Yes, indeed. I have played it on the channel. We have beaten it fully. We played it the day it came out. A 12 hour live stream of the long dark story mode. Um, the long dark was epic and I am kind of thinking about replaying the story mode. I can't promise that we will do it, but perhaps it would be awesome. I did enjoy the long dark and the long dark uh, story mode is also fun. Kind of everybody's waiting now for the last chapter. I have no idea when it's coming out, but yeah. When it comes out, we'll definitely play it. That'll be the end of the long dark story mode. If I'm not mistaken, that'll be like the last chapter. The last chapter, the last episode or whatever it's called. Okay, let's deal with this squeaker. Play State of the K2. I've made a few live streams on State of the K2 already. It's a pretty fun survival game. Oh my goodness, why this place has so many zombies? Usually I can just farm lots of trees without having to kill them. Unbelievable. Okay, we got that. more loot. Wait, uh, how many trees we got? Only a stack. So we need one more stack and then we can dip out of this place. Then we can bounce, as some people say. It's like, we're using a flare gun. Because why wouldn't I use flare guns? I have them at the base, so I'm trying to use them. I have an entire rack of those flare guns, so I kind of want to get rid of them. I want to have more space for better weapons, so that's why I use flare guns now. I try to use them on everything. I try to use them in hard mode, bunker, alpha, in... The transport hub whenever I can so yeah I try to use as many flare guns now as possible because we have a lot of them I think I was never using any of those flare guns I just stacked I don't know an entire rack of those flare guns in the base an entire rack of those flare guns in the base in the throughout the past few years so I think it's time for us to use them because it's not like flare guns are very common you know that every time I get a flare gun I just put it back in the base and I never use it and I always pick them up I never skipped them so there's that are developers bringing any more teasers, says Visa? I have no idea. Hopefully we'll get some new sneak peeks, some new content. Okay. Goodbye. Grab some trees, only one log. One silly log. At least this survivor didn't aggro an entire... Uh, bunch of, bunch of enemies here. That's good. Because sometimes when there's like a bot, like that survivor can gather lots of enemies and then they'll start chasing you. And then it gets annoying. Okay, we need five more trees. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Took us quite a while to get that. Usually it's a little bit faster. 
It took us 30 more seconds than usual. Okay, this one. I think this tree, and then we need one more tree, and then we can go back to the base. And I kind of like this way of farming. Because when we go and we have to farm an entire inventory of those trees, it gets kind of boring. Just like two stacks, having a goal. It's like almost nothing. There we go, we just need one more tree. And then we can skedaddle from here. Kind of a stupid question, what chest should I upgrade to level 3? Um, whatever chest you want. I mean, it's, it all depends on you. It is a silly question. You are absolutely right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. Like, whatever loot you have the most... If you have the most weapons, then upgrade your weapon chest. If you have a lot of healing items, then upgrade your healing item chest. Whatever you have more of, says B. Exactly. If you have more weapons, upgrade weapons. Okay, let's chop this tree down. That is it. I think we did it. We chopped down enough, even a bit more. Best way to get resources for stone walls. You can farm stones in stone zones, and uh, you can get ash. You can get oak in oak zones. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's very basic. You just go to these zones and you start farming the resources that you need. It's pretty simple. Getting bricks is a lot easier through raids. So if you are level 150 or higher, then you can start doing raids. And you should be able to get a few raids with lots of bricks. So if you get lots of raids with lots of bricks, just bring those bricks back to the base. You won't have to farm for wood yourself. Therefore, stones yourself. As you do require lots of stones. If I'm not mistaken, a stack of stones only gets you 10 bricks. So you need a lot of and a lot of stones. So yeah, doing raids for those stones is kind of... Kind of decent, kind of fine. Usually when raids came out and I was building those level 3 walls... Brick raids, stone raids were huge. I loved those raids. They were absolutely amazing. Okay, so we came back from our quick run. From our from our quick farm run. Now we can get more wood, ladies and gents. Bam. And bam. Oh my goodness. I can't drag items that they just drop here. Thank you. There you go. So now we have some stuff. Absolutely bloody lovely. Bloody amazing. Bloody awesome. And let's check the raiders. What other tasks we need to do. And let's see if that farm location is reset. Because if I'm not mistaken, we need to go to the farm location. But it might be not reset yet. So yeah, we need to kill the revenger and then five savage giants. So let's go outside. Let's see if it's not reset. Then we'll just skip those tasks and we will go for the raid number three of the day. Triple, triple raid. Um, is it reset? Okay, it resets in about one hour. And we have the rest up event. And I kind of want to go there. It still has a four minute timer. So let's go there. And then in 15 minutes, that transport hub is going to reset. So we're going to loot that transport hub. Hit the devs up with your lumber mill idea. It's only to listen to me about the lumber mill idea. There are lots of people having lots of great ideas. But I would love to have the Lumber Mill. And yeah, for those who don't know what Lumber Mill I'm talking about, it would be awesome to have a Lumber Mill in the Swamp location. It doesn't have to be in the Swamp location. It can be anywhere. But it would be nice to get wood in that Lumber Mill. This way, we wouldn't have to farm wood. You wouldn't have to chop down wood. You just have to clear a place. Let's say something like Bunker Alpha, except for clearing Bunker Alpha, we get wood instead of guns. Like, that's what I want. That way, we won't have to farm for wood. You can still farm wood. But farming is kind of boring. Okay, let's get whatever random gun. Well, that place is still there. I'm definitely taking way too much time. And let's hop on our chopper. No hard feelings, but you're using flare guns inefficiently. Oh yeah, I know. You can... It does about 100 damage if you shoot those zombies. So you have the time, you have to wait. Like, ain't nobody got the time for that. But I agree, I'm absolutely using them very inefficiently. If you shoot quickly, the timer resets every time. The burning effect... 
If you shoot quickly, the timer resets every time for burning effect of flare bullets. No. Unless they've changed something. It does about 100 damage. If a zombie has if a zombie has no defense, I can even test it out to probably prove it to you. Unless they've changed something in the past like few months. But one shot does about 100 damage. And no matter how fast you shoot them, the, it will do 100 damage. So I thought you meant that I'm doing it inefficiently because I shoot too many shots. But I just need three shots and that's it. Then I just have to wait. They'll do 300 damage. You can stack like 5, 10 shots and they will all do the same amount of damage. I've tested it and that's how it works. Unless, as I said, I they've changed something in the past few months. Or I was wrong. So again, I'm not arguing about it. I'm not saying that, hey, that's how it is. I wouldn't bet a million dollars on it even if I had a million dollars. But you got the point. Maybe somebody can confirm or deny. Okay, we can deal with this guy. That's it, all of them are dead. But yeah, I know that my flare guns are inefficient. As I shoot too many shots. Okay, there's that broken AK. Whatever. I'll bring it back to the base, why not? It is how you say it is. I mean... Maybe no. Maybe you're right, but I let it burn, then I shoot uh, one more. Uh, they do 100 damage. You can like shoot them very, very quickly and you can just wait. But yeah, if a zombie has 300 health and you shoot them and they don't have any defense, then you need to shoot more than three shots as then you're going to waste your shots. And I am wasting those shots very often. Because sometimes I don't know which zombies have defense, which zombies don't have defense. So I'll just shoot a few more shots and that's it. I have lots of those flare guns anyways. I just want to kind of use them as fast as possible and get rid of them. And it's pretty hard to waste them anyways. As they don't miss. And even when those bullets stack, I'm only like wasting an extra shot or something. As they're not that great anyways. Uh, okay, we are done with this event. Now, let's go back to the base and let's get ready for the third raid of the day. Just shoot multiple shots and let the fire do the work. Yes, indeed. I agree with you, Sarik. I've used the flare guns a couple of times and it's as you said. Okay. But as I said, I'm still wasting them. I 100%. But yeah. You have enough of them use them like that anyways yeah and as i said it's like it's pretty hard to waste them because even let's say a floater bloater right maybe not floater bloater a toxic abomination a toxic bomb is gonna have 300 health so technically i should be able to kill that toxic bomb with only three shots but maybe i'll shoot like four or five shots to kill that toxic bomb they say it'll die faster so i'll only waste two shots it's not like i can shoot 10 shots to kill one toxic bomb so even though maybe sometimes I'm wasting those flare guns, it's not like I waste a lot of them. And if zombies have defense, then it's pretty difficult to waste those flare guns. Alright, let's try to drop some more... Um, hatchets. Whatever, I'll take more hatchets and that's it. Let's get ready for the raid. Um, the, 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 the hatchet goes there. That is it. Now we can talk to the raiders and we can see what other tasks we need to do. Ancestors game upload says Fudegat. Maybe there will be more ancestors become human one day. Can't promise anything. Okay, we got this task. I want to go to the highway right now, ladies and gents. Let's hop on our chopper. Let's go to the highway real quick and let's get one of those engines. We could probably skip the task, but I mean, highway, right? Um, thinking the brain is working at almost full capacity. And yeah, more flare guns. Forgot that I'm using flare guns. Okay, let's get three of them.
Sit, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go, ladies and gents. Electric scum video says Sparkle Butterfly. Thanks for liking the videos, Butterfly. Glad that you enjoyed it. There will be more scum survival as always. Very soon. Hey, psych brother, never forget rock or die, boy, says Hama. Yes, indeed. For those who don't know, it was some sort of a dude from Rust that kept yelling rock or die, and he wanted to get my rock from me. Um, I came outside for a reason. I got the guns and I got... Where was I going? Uh, oh, the highway. I'm telling you, my memory is... Is of a golden fish. Do golden fish have good memory? Doubt it. I got a drone upgrade, but needs lots of other special resources. I'm stuck with the brown wires only now. Sheesh. Yeah, I still can't craft the drone upgrade uh, modification station. It's super difficult. Still don't have it. Do you remember three years ago when you said Bunker Charlie is coming soon? Maybe. I know if I ever like mentioned Bunker Charlie coming soon. Maybe I said it, it might be coming soon. Maybe I said coming soon with a question mark. I don't think I ever said like coming soon, coming soon, but yeah. Um, we got a poster. I even forgot that we are collecting these posters. That there's that poster event today. Please, tell the developers to increase the number of days for completing the pass. Hey! Increase the pass duration! Okay. They will do it. They will do it, Timmy the Bloat. They will listen to me. Oh, no dinner tonight. That's it. We will compromise. I won't feed them if they don't do it as you say. So don't worry. Oh my goodness. I've set off the alarm. The car is completely destroyed. There's no way the battery would still work. I refuse to believe that. I totally refuse to believe that. Oh, there are raiders. Is it my first or second time that I find raiders here? I don't know. They're not very, very common here. The dude had a flare, a zip gun, and I got a broken Glock from this guy. Hmm. Developers live next door. Wow, what do you mean next door? They live here. Next door is outside, like your neighbors live next door. But they live in my room. Uh, we got two spark plugs. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, another... Another alarm. Whatever, let's get that. Let's drop it. Maybe, you know what? Let's bring it to Jennifer. Let's do it. I have it. We might as well just do it. It's a hint, sex a developer. I'm not a developer. Guys, if I was a developer, as I said, we would have many more things. We would have the auto sword button added a long time ago to the game. And we would have... Uh, what else we would have? We would have everything. We'd have lots of cool things. I prefer more now permanent locations like Transport Hub with the random special and rare items than Bunker Charlie and Helicopter. I mean, Bunker Charlie can be the same as, uh, as, as that Transport Hub, right? I mean, it was always the case, and I said many times already, like, they've added the ATV, like, who cares about that ATV when it is pretty bad? Because let's be honest, ATV is pretty terrible. Like, you clear Bunker Bravo to unlock your ATV, and once you are done unlocking that ATV, you get really nothing in return besides the swamp location, and you grind it there to upgrade your racks, and... It's cool, right? To upgrade your racks, but... Yeah. That's, like, too much grind for the ATV just to upgrade your racks. I don't think it's really worth it.
So same thing with the helicopter. Like, obviously, if they add the heli and it does nothing, then yes, it is terrible. But if it's something nice, then it is nice. Okay, let's bring this up. They keep Bunker, Charlie, and Helicopter to tease veteran players. Perhaps, perhaps. But I am, and we got three more points. Disappointed. Okay, maybe for those who are curious, we are at level 69 here with this chopper. Hell yeah. Still not at max level. Because we have already upgraded it. We already have some nice levels here, so... It's kind of pointless to upgrade it higher, but let's just do it little by little. What's the best way to get steel in the long run? In the long run? I mean, I am kind of... I am very confused with the question. Like, I understand what it means, but I'm very confused with the question because... What, what do you mean with in a long run? It's the same if somebody asked you, what's the best way to earn money in a long run? Having a job? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> same thing with steel, you just farm steel. You pick up every steel bar, every copper bar you find, recycle your batteries at the recycler. That way you'll get copper. You can get batteries like everywhere, also from raids. You can farm copper in the northern zones. You can get copper from the transport hub you can get copper from the fourth floor in bunker alpha you can get copper f at the farm location you can also yeah those are the nice ways to get that copper and then transform it into steel and uh yeah and also make sure to check out the description there i have the frequently asked question section and there I think I already answer on how to get steel and other things. There is no steel factory. It is difficult to get steel. Yeah, your goal is just to like get a little bit of steel all the time and... You'll get enough steel. My chopper is fully upgraded and I drop the engines and generators in front of my workshop and gas station and they don't disappear. Yikes. In front of the door at the gas station. Yikes, yikes. Please respond, is acid bath rateable? No, it's not rateable. It is not rateable. And we need to raise three more doggos. Okay, which doggos do I want to raise? Level one males and... Uh, level one males and perhaps level two females. That's what we need. Okay, this one. Another level one male. And another level one male. Let's get it. Oh my goodness, stupid fly, whatever that was. It's like, if you showered more often. Guys, I shower enough. There are still flies here. I shower once a year. Okay, Gooper. We don't need that. We need now... Uh, where is it? This one, this one. And let's breed them Rex. More like Gooper. There we go. We are ready. Is that... Were there three doggos? Was that three dogs? Maybe. Best way to get steel is to get a job and buy a steel room, says Edis. I'm not a financial advisor, so I don't agree or disagree with this question as I am partial. I don't have an opinion about it. And it depends. Everything really depends in this game. Like... This game, it depends, like, every time people say pay to win, pay to win maybe has some up, some more meanings, but there is no multiplayer in this game. So whenever you buy something, you just buy something for yourself, not to, not to compete against other players. Like, for example, in Clash Royale, you might be tempted to buy some packs to upgrade your cards because your cards will be better, right? You'll have an advantage. 
here. This game is kind of all about grinding, and when you buy things, you kind of have less things to grind for, so the game kind of loses purpose. I don't know. Like, for example, if the helicopter comes out and you can, like, instantly buy it, it's not- it's not interesting. Like, I wouldn't be interested in that because what's the point of that helicopter? Like, having to create content, like, maybe I'd be forced into doing that, but I probably doubt it. I wouldn't really care, I still wouldn't buy the helicopter, but you got the point. It would be fun to grind for that helicopter. Like, helicopter isn't just about, like, oh, having that helicopter, it's about grinding for it. So I wouldn't be interested in buying the- in buying the helicopter. You got the point. Unless you can't grind for it, then it's just stupid. Like, grinding for those ATP transmissions is almost impossible, it's stupid. Financial doctor, happy sack, thank you for your help, says Joy. What do you mean financial doctor? Financial doctor advice. What? What? Okay, let's get a C4 and let's go, guys, for the third raid of the day. 20 bucks versus 10 hours. What do you mean 10 hours of what? Of farming to get a steel room? You're not going to get a steel room in 10 hours. You'll get that steel room in, like, God knows how much time. Definitely more than 10 hours. Level 150 is stupid for real. It is definitely... Reachable like it's not that difficult to reach level 150 again. It depends on what you expect from this game Like if you play it once a day uh, Once a week for an hour then yes, it's gonna be very difficult to reach it, but if you play it quite regularly if you Lose all of your social contacts if you drop all of your friends your family and you start playing last dinner 24 7 then it's very easy I don't see what you're talking about there If you get rid of your social life then you can absolutely get it, so... It's only excuses. As I say, skill issue. But all jokes aside, like, getting to level 150, it's definitely doable. I don't know how many hours that would take, but especially if you get that... You keep getting that double experience buff from the... From the dealer here. You could get it in a... I don't know. In a few weeks, depends on how much you play here. Basically, leave, uh, live and breathe last on Earth, says MLBB. Yes. What's family, Sykes is born? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. We got this thing reset beautiful. So we have a hack fin. Hell yeah. Let's read hack fin. Hack fin. Hack fin. Hackleberry. Hack, hack fin. Why do I know this this thing from some somewhere? Is it from Tom Sawyer? Is it from Tom Sawyer? I don't know. I read Tom Sawyer books a long time ago, bro. I don't even remember. But is it Hack Finn from Tom Sawyer? I don't know. LDOE raid. Uh, uh, Hack Finn. Maybe it's Hackleberry Finn. Maybe he was Hackleberry Finn. I don't remember. Um, let's see. What the raid has to offer. It's a good raid. Or is it a goop raid? I mean, I have no idea, dude. I'm just doing research. Okay, I think I know how we... Uh, how we'll get inside of this raid. Okay, we go here and... Uh, we go there, I see. Bam, bam. That's it? I guess that's it. Unless I'm making a mistake. I don't think I am. We need two C4s though for this raid. We'll have another C4 in the inbox, so we'll get it. Let's go. Isn't Tom Sawyer like 300 years old? It's probably old. It is pretty old. It's Hackleberry Finn. Dude, I said it's Huckleberry Finn! I did it. That's Huck Finn. I told you that it's Huck Finn. It's Hack Finn here. Huck Finn. I told you. I knew it. I knew it, dude. I knew it. Okay, let's quickly loot the chopper. The chopper had some fuel. Hmm. Not too bad. Is it hot in France? Actually, it's decent. It was 39 Celsius quite recently. 
So that's about like 100, 102 Fahrenheit. And uh, it was fine. To be completely honest, I went outside that day. That's the day when I got dreadlocked. It was all right. But yeah, now it's just 31 Celsius outside, 32. Like currently it's 7 p.m. It's 31 outside. Uh, 31 uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, right? How much is it? Uh, 31 is about 80, 88, 87.8 Fahrenheit, so it is not... It is hot. It's definitely hot right now, but it's it's not boiling. It's fine. Um, let's start opening up those chests. Thirty nine Celsius and it's fine. I mean, I was outside. It it was it was hot. Obviously, it's not like I would stay at that weather all the day. I could burn, but to get from point A to point B. I didn't die, I'm still alive. I like that temperature, being hot is better than freezing. Um... I agree. To a point. Like, if you, if you live in that weather and you don't have AC, then it's pretty difficult to fall asleep. If you have AC, then it's fine. If you don't have it, then it's very... Very hard to fall asleep. It also depends on your house. How insulated it is. Some houses are designed to keep warmth. So in summers it gets it's like a greenhouse. It becomes like a greenhouse. I don't know. In any case, it's complicated. I mean we're getting a little bit of armor. Hell yeah. I like that. Let's get a C4. Let's drop it here on this door. Callie's 95 uh, or so with 60% humidity, says Matthew. Uh, yeah, also humidity plays a huge role. Plays a huge role in the heat. Was it very humid here? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, let's get more glocks. Bruh, this was a decent raid. I didn't expect this raid to be to be this good. I knew that it'll have great loot, but I didn't think it'll have that much great loot. Hell yeah. Um, anything else? I mean, let's try to drop some stuff in the chopper. We should bring a new armor set. Wait, I'm gonna just equip it. I thought maybe I need to drop some stuff in the chopper. Actually, I don't. Okay, let's quickly sort out that. I can't look at it. Can't look at that. We could bring another armor set to the base, but I don't have space to store it. I don't know where I'll store it, guys. Literally, I have two sets, and I don't think I'll be able to store it. A tactical death. I can't do a tactical death right now, and I mean, I can't store more armor. Whatever, I'll drop it. I'll drop it, ladies and gentlemen. Because what's the point to raid and not bring that loot? But I'd rather bring the loot that I need than armor. I already have like four or five racks full of armor. Sark, where do you get glass? You can get it from the swamp. Okay, that's more. More armor, ladies and gentlemen. I'll eat the dude's berries. Thank you very much for the berries. Really cool. It's 61. It's 61 Celsius. From boiling point, like a Cyric. What? That's it, I have nothing else here to do, so let's get that on. It's gonna be 111 Fahrenheit today in Arizona. Yikes. Absolutely yikes. I think the highest temperature I've ever experienced was 46 or something Celsius. Let's say 46, that's 114 Fahrenheit or whatever, right? And uh, yeah. I went outside that day and you could like literally feel the sun on your skin. 
It was like low key sauna at that point. It was painful. Like actually standing under the sun, it was painful. That's it. That's all my experience with that kind of weather. 35 Celsius in Poland. That's buggers. It's not usually that hot there, so I guess enjoy the weather. Okay, let's drop the armor. And we also need to pay the raiders. Let's not forget about the payment. Because they always want the payment. Don't they? Bro, I don't have space. I'm going to just delete these. Get out of here. I have to store the armor. Dude, I'm going to store the tactical armor. And when, where will I store my other armor? We have this broken raiders battle armor. Get out of here. We don't store garbage here. We only stored the best up quality loot in this base. Absolutely. Smash the like peep, says Matthew. Absolutely, guys. Demolish that like button. Just destroy it. POV me who lives in Latvia and it's raining for two weeks straight and the highest temperature I've had is 33 Celsius, says Edis. Uh, I feel you. I've been to Lithuania this summer and it is a pretty weird weather. I mean, my parents have gardens, so every day they're like, oh, I hope it rains today. And I'm there sitting like, why would anybody want rain? And it rains like five days out of five days a week. So I'm like, okay. I assume Latvian and Lithuanian weather is, like, basically the same. I don't think it would be much different. It's got, if not exactly the same. Um, I don't have more space. I'm gonna get rid of this armor. Get out of here. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Somehow, some way, I was able to store that. We did it. We did it. We absolutely did it. There we go. Let's sort that out and let's go to the transport hub. Um, Glocks, Glocks can go here. Hatchets and iron plates. You think Hazmat's boots are as fast as Gilly? What, you mean taking Hazmat's boots, uh, Hazmat boots to the swamp? I don't think I've ever used them there. So I can't confirm that, honestly. Kefir teased us a couple of days ago with more updates. They didn't. Did they? They they didn't tease us. We didn't get any new teasers. They posted like some stuff on on Discord, but on the server side, not on the game side. So I don't think we've gotten any new sneak peeks, to be honest. I don't even know what was the last sneak peek. We didn't get any new sneak peeks. They like posted some stuff to engage with the community, but they didn't post any sneak peeks. You are from Lithuania, yes. I was born and raised in Lithuania. Kefir is literally posting memes. Yeah, I mean, they posted stuff to engage with their community, but I don't think we've gotten any sneak peeks. They said that more updates coming soon. Oh, that more updates are coming. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a good sneak peek when you think about it. More updates are coming. Okay. And tomorrow, hopefully, is going to come as well. The sky is blue. Epic. I'm thinking again. Oh, uh, there's no need to think. We're going to the transport hub. So let's get a few guns, ladies and gents. Let's buckle up. Let's fasten the seat belts and let's go. First language, it's complicated. Um, let's drop this over here. Let's get some shotguns. And AK this. 
A minigun. We are taking way too many guns. Psych, you're over prepping. Yes, I am over preparing, but I'll get it. And let's get a drone. Absolutely, let's get that drone. Genesis weapons and a drone. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get a drone, ladies and gents. We got it. That's it. Everything's upgraded. We got everything. Just joined. What did I miss? Nothing special. Just three raids. A helicopter and uh, Bunker Charlie and Bunker Zulu. So, hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Let's get two stacks of those and some food. Dude, I am totally over preparing. But I, I'd rather prepare prepare more than not enough. Thinking. Thinking. The brain is working and we are ready to go. I have the drone, correct? Yes, let's go. Oh, Genesis weapons. I didn't get any Genesis weapons. Is it common to drink kefir, kefir in English-speaking countries? I mean, I know what is kefir. I don't think a lot of people even know what is kefir. Like, for example, in US, do people even know what is kefir? Are Guab drinking kefir? How do you even pronounce kefir in English? Is it kefir? Kef kefir? Kefir. Kefir, okay. Epic. Um... I came back to get something. I forgot. Oh, Genesis weapons. Thanks, Matthew. I would have totally forgotten. Let's get like two Genesis guns. Should be more than enough. We're getting more kefir in us in our stores, I noticed. It's kind of nice. Like drinking ke cold kefir with potatoes is is amazing. That's what basically how I ate it. How I drank it. It's pretty nice. What is it? Like, I don't want to be mistaken, but it's like spoiled milk, basically. Uh, what is kefir? Just to be, to be exact. Kefir is a fermented milk drink similar to thin yogurt or iron that is made from kefir grains. A specific type of blah, blah. Wait, it's just milk. It's made from milk. It says from kefir grains. It's made from milk, I guess. Well, fermented milk. It's kind of acidic. It's like yogurt. I guess it depends, but it's not sweet. Again, maybe they're a different type of iron. I don't know what that was, Matthew. Stop it. I have no idea what that word meant. I just read it. Stop it. Stop making fun of me. So yeah, maybe there are different types of kefirs. Oh, I thought it was beer. No, no, it was like a milk drink. It's like milk with huge chunks. It's very thick. And it's kind of acidic. That's the best that I could describe it. Again, I had it like maybe like 10 years ago. So it's been a really long time ago since I drank it, but yeah. It's not bad, I like it. It's fine. Okay, welcome to the transport hub. Time for us to clear the transport hub. Let's get some flare guns. You see, here we go. We are doing 100 damage, so we don't need to waste that. Oh, we, did, we didn't do 100 damage for some reason. Oh, because this guy has 120 health, so I can do another shot and this dude will die. Okay, so we do 100 damage indeed to those zombies. Okay, beautiful. Us in Lithuania drink kefir while eating potatoes. Yeah, exactly. That's just what I said. Cold kefir with potatoes is always epic. It's very good. I agree. I absolutely agree. There go, like this hungry chomper. I can do like three shots and the dude will die because he had 218 health. So there go, boom, the dude's dead. In Poland, we drink kefir with potatoes and chicken, kinda. Yeah, kind of the same as well then, I guess, with potatoes. It matches really well with potatoes. I'm gonna buy some and try. Good luck. 
If you don't like it, don't be like, oh, Happy Psych told me to drink garbage. I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it here right now because I know I'm not gonna drink it here now, maybe. I don't think I'd even find it if I wanted to. I know that a while ago my parents maybe used to make that thing on their own. I don't know, maybe. I doubt it. I don't know. Might be talking goop. In any case. I took your nutritional advice, says Matthew. Good job. <laughs> I took your nutritional advice, your financial advice, your medical advice. Thank you, guys. Thank you for taking my advice. Really cool. I like the flare gun. I don't like how quickly it gets used up, though. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of durability. Nutritionist Cyric. I didn't give any nutritional advice. We just spoke about that kefir drink and that's it. Sykes nutritional advice, uh, drink water. I agree, you should drink water. Drinking water is very important. That's all I have to say, guys. If you want to survive, you should drink water. I like drinking water. Okay, for some reason, those toxic spitters were stuck in one spot. Better for me. It's like, do you have any advice on home ownership? Wow, thank you very much. So wait, land now real estate advice. I mean, I don't know. It depends on the area you live in. You can rent. You can get mortgage. All depends on your financial situation. And as I said, I'm not a financial advisor. But it all depends on your financial situation. Just do some calculations. Do some math. Depends on what you want to do. If you want to stay in the same place. If you want to move. And yeah, if you guys need any more real estate landlords, <laughs> if you need guys any more real estate advice, hit me up. Let me know in the chat down below. I'll help you out, guys. Um, more flare guns, perhaps. Okay, this thing is going to break very soon, but that is all right. I don't even know why I'm looting this place. This side of the thing for content, basically. But it's... Wow, 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 wow. There were three of those toxic spitters. Uh, not toxic spitters, darters. Toxic darters? Probably. A Winchester silencer. A purple blueprint. Hell yeah, I guess. Kind of bad that it's a blueprint that I already have. But kind of nice that you can get purple blueprints. I've never seen one before, so it's the first time I see a purple blueprint there. I clicked the wrong button. We are not in full screen. Some of you might be panicking right now. Don't worry, guys. There we go. We are back in full screen. It's like I'm looking for a place to stay. Advise me where. Earth, Sun, Pluto, or Jupiter. How about Uranus? Hmm? I've heard that planet's pretty good. Financial advice, spend it all. <sighs> that somebody said that in the chat. I didn't say it. I think I have to clarify it. That wasn't my financial advice. I don't have any financial advice. This sounded like way too sad. Guys, I don't have any financial advice. Yeah, don't ask me for financial advice. Because I don't have any advice. Oh my goodness! I'm stuck! Whoa. Whoa, bruh. Bruh. Heal, idiot. Well, luckily I survived. Dead. Nah, nah, we survived. Don't worry, everything is calculated. I've been playing this game for almost six years. I mean, we could have died anyways, and it doesn't matter for how long I've been playing it. Oh my goodness, all of them have those stupid shields. Maybe I should just avoid them. I really don't want to fight them. Like, look at this. They're, they're just stupid. They're just dumb. Huh? Look at them. Look at those idiots. Bunch of idiots. What locations are... What location are you at right now? At the transport hub. Hmm. 
there we go, we did it. I only loot for second crate and leave to get ATV transmissions. I need only one more to finish ATV. How many ATV transmissions you've gotten from the transport hub? I'm curious. Maybe you already said that, so I apologize if I don't remember. But if you've gotten any ATV transmissions from the transport hub... Wait, you told me that you've gotten one, no? Maybe I'm confusing something. Maybe that was someone else. Maybe you said that you've gotten one there. Is drone worth it? I mean, with a drone, you can unlock this place. And you can loot this location. Whatever, we have more space in the base, so I might as well bring more loot, right? It should be happy garlic. Why would it be happy garlic? I got two so far from this place. Oh, wow, you've gotten two uh, ATV transmissions. Not that bad. Definitely, this place has made obtaining ATV a lot easier. Like, it is maybe doable now even for free-to-play players. Like, if you got two ATV transmissions in, what, a month? Pretty good. I mean, maybe you could get them all in a year. And three gas cylinders. Yeah, this place is, is definitely nice for the ATV then. Do you need a drone for this place? Yes, you need to have a drone in order to unlock this place. So yeah, this is, that, that's pretty nice. The transport hub has definitely made ATV more accessible. Really worth it for you to play because you can not get ATV transmissions. I mean, that's basically probably the only way to get ATV transmissions besides spinning caps. So it's really, really worth it. Like this... This ATV transmission is... Uh, this transport hub is insane. Yo, DA, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the super chat. Oops, I hit the mic. Thank, thank you. Nice shirt. Thank you. It's my gray shirt. It's... It's gray color. I'm glad you noticed it. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Cold sweat smile. So, yeah, DA, thanks once again for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for noticing the shirt. Really cool. It's made out of material and... Uh, yeah. Pretty good shirt. Okay, we gotta go down. I gotta get this weapon and this weapon. Psych, like, what happened? I forgot what I'm doing. That's what happened. Uh, go back to... Uh, got back-to-back -back purple cards from the supply event system. That is nice. Congrats on those back-to-back -back purple cards. I think I've gotten only one purple card. But I guess that's still better than zero. Some people have gotten zero purple cards. Uh, of course... They'll get me. Also, some of you told me that there are these parasites and they only do two damage instead of uh, killing us with one shot. Oh my goodness. Just get that toxic darter. I mean, unless people are trolling me. So I will check it out. Oh yeah, they do only two damage actually. They're useless. They're absolutely useless. Okay, so I will we'll warm up my minigun. Wish we had a Genesis weapon. The, a minigun Genesis weapon. That was me. I'm not trolling you, says Ella. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Thank you, then. Okay, that's pretty cool. So they are not that... scary, then. It's kind of weird that some parasites do a lot of damage. Some parasites don't do a lot of damage. And look at this. We have gotten some copper. As somebody asked today, how do we get copper? And that's how you get copper. Transport Hub is a pretty nice place. It is a decent place. That's it. I'm telling you. It is a decent place. There's a lot of, like, almost endgame content. Like, copper. Is copper endgame? Like, definitely late mid-game or, like, endgame content. Like, ATV transmissions. This place is amazing. It's not obviously great for beginners. Like, this place is not for beginners, but it is a perfect place. It is Bunker Alpha for those that are over level 150 or something, right? Like, this should be your next step, probably. After Bunker Alpha, you should try unlocking the transport hub. Your goal is to assemble your drone 
and to unlock the transport hub. That's it. Unless they'll nerf it even more, then it becomes useless. Which I wouldn't be surprised if they do it, but they shouldn't touch it. But yeah, this place is really nice. Like, still, maybe the minor loot from the floppy crate isn't the best. It's not as good as it's been, but I still think it's great. Last Dinner doesn't have endgame. Well, it doesn't. Pick up the container. Okay, that's a lot to read, and it's Sunday today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sunday. And I don't read on Sundays. Also, don't read any other day as well. But I... Let's finish loading this crate. Uh, bam. What does the drone do? It opens up the door. You need a drone to open up this this place. Plus, you need drones to load these crates as well. So... Yeah, technically the drone is like a vehicle here. Speaking of drones, recently I like saw some sort of a video of a dude using a drone and I was like, bruh, it looks sick, the shots look amazing. And I was like, we live only once, right? I mean, drones can unlock basically an entire new world for you. I thought it'd be cool to explore the city with a drone, but then I was like, is it actually legal to use drones in the city? And I've done some research and apparently it's not so legal. So that is it. I wanted to get a drone, I'm not getting a drone anymore. But yeah, that would have been awesome. I'm talking here about real life, not about the game. Okay, that is it. We are ready to now fight the boss. Get a drone in the mountains then. I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of cool, but... If I ever maybe start exploring more, if I ever go outside more often, if I drive somewhere or go somewhere, then maybe. Maybe. Cities that don't allow drones are lame. I kind of disagree with that. I think it's... There is a reason why they don't allow drones. Maybe in other countries it's like that, but I mean... In France... It, maybe you could get like some license or whatever, but basically... kind of illegal and I guess it's kind of cool I mean now we live in a city and if everybody gets a drone like there'd be drones flying everywhere they'd be kind of stupid so I guess there is a reason for it and I kind of agree with it as every schmuck would be flying their drone above somebody's head so you can't really use drones in populated places like basically in any city so to be honest I do kind of agree with that because I just thought about it. And I was like, it can't be legal, right? I was like, if I thought about like flying a drone here in a city, there must be a lot of other schmucks like me who thought about that as well. And I was like, if everybody starts started flying their drones, that'd be a mess. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna just Google this legal and it's not actually legal. But yeah. Okay, nobody comes out of that hole. Okay, there are just zombies here. We can deal with them. But if I ever start going outside of cities, maybe I'll get a drone because I think they're really cool. I got a drone from Costco. It took one hour to charge. And only flew for five minutes of the A. Yikes. I, I'm, I don't really know about, much about drones, but I was planning to get whatever it was, like DJI 2 Mini or something. Or whatever. But yeah, that's probably the one I would have gotten. Those ones are pretty nice. Again, thinking the brain is working at full capacity. The song, that's what we wanted to get. A better, a better track for the boss fight. If that's a boss, yeah, that's a boss. Which one? A miner. Okay. We'll kill this boss. Okay, 
Alright, let's start shooting this dude. At first it was doing 80 damage, now it only does 29. Interesting. Yikes. Okay, we survived, that's good. Imagine spending your whole life locked up in a crate just to be killed, shotgunned by a Cyrek. I mean, oh my goodness, my armor is going to break here. That's not cool. That's absolutely not cool. I need to get my Genesis weapon. Or... The flare gun is pretty goop. I mean, it is doable, but it'll take a long time. It'll take a lot of running, and my armor is not gonna last here forever. Oh boy. Okay, I will get the... I don't see the Genesis. Okay, they're at the top left. So when he does again that other jump, I will get the Genesis weapon. Run, run, run. Okay, let's do it. Do any people in the chat here have drones? Do you fly drones? Are they cool? Do you like your drones? Do we have any drone people? Good thing last on Earth is drones don't need permits. Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, here you need to get a drone, you need to register it, and they give you like some sort of a number plate on that drone. You get to glue like some sort of a sticker. On that drone with your numbers on it, if I'm not mistaken. The drones are banned in Poland. Yikes. I have one, it used to be really fun, but too many restrictions. Yeah. I got bored of mine real quick. Says so DA, maybe. That is it. We're gonna destroy the boss. Goodbye, miner. That is it, guys. We did it. Now, let's start back our normal track. And uh, let's get this terminal card. Bam, and let's open it up. Our inventory is full. I definitely took way too many guns here. Okay, let's deal with these guys. It feels like this is the most common crate. Like, you always get these pale zombies. Almost always. Okay, let's open that. I mean, you can fly a drone here. You can fly drones on beaches. I guess it also depends on the beach. There's like a map of where you can fly it or no. You can just you can fly drones around beaches. But like, I mean, it's not really that fun. There's nothing really to see at the beach. Kinda. I don't know. Okay, so this crate was kind of decent. We've gotten two, two okay guns. Hmm. We need to drop some stuff in the chopper. Then I need to come back here and I gotta get more loot. And I gotta get more loot. Beaches are at the beach. Yes, indeed. And it's not like even you can fly like that far away. It's like 20 meters or something around you. So I mean, like, what are you gonna see there? Bam. You're not supposed to fly them above people. I guess that's global. Yes, indeed. I mean, even if you fly them uh, on on a beach, like, yeah, you don't fly them above somebody else's head.
Which I guess kind of makes sense, right? Kites are more fun than, dr than drones. I don't think I've ever had a kite in my life. Let's open up this door. And bro, I won't have enough space to open up that crate, so I'll have to bring some of the loot back to the base, and then we can open up this crate. Okay, guys, so you'll be able to vote while you were uh, while you'll be voting for which crates to open up. You can see these crates: the first, second, the second CYF crate. Maybe it's cool. I haven't opened it up in a long time, so I don't know. You can vote for whichever you want. Uh, which uh, transport hub crate to open up? One, two, three, or four, right? That's it, guys. You can vote. Once again, I'm going to show you the things. And I'll quickly go and drop all the loot, and then I'll open it up while we have the time. I have a camera on a balloon, says B. Okay. Alright, camera on a balloon. I've never heard of a camera on a balloon. Psych, he's just playing with you. Guys, I know that he's joking. Or maybe he does have a camera on a balloon. I mean, it's good. I guess. A <laughs> camera on a balloon. You need second crate for drone upgrade desk. Yes? Triple question mark? But did you find your phone yesterday? I mean, I never lost it. I have it. It's like, why you look mad? Because I am furious. There ain't nothing to be happy about. Well, why are you happy? Cursed curse. Why are you happy? Hmm? What are you so happy about, man? <laughs> Salty sights to sparkle. Absolutely. There ain't nothing to be happy about in life. Why are you happy? How's your scalp today, bruh? It doesn't hurt anymore. It actually hurt only for a day. Like, it only hurt next day. Now it's fine. Um, I need to drop some loot. And it's gonna take us quite a while because it's just a mess. That's what it is. It is an absolute unforgivable mess. That was deep. It was deep indeed, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of annoying every time will somebody join here. Every time somebody joins and asks like, Sayak, you look angry. Sayak, you look sad. I'm like, how am I supposed to look for you? Those questions are very annoying. So I usually try to answer them in a, in the most rude way possible. Let's drop that. The rubber. Um, trick to sort out your inventory quickly. Don't pick up any loot. That is smart. That is smart indeed. The best tip and trick. We, we've gotten 10 copper bars. We've gotten 10 copper bars from the transport hub, which is like huge. You don't always get that many transport. Uh, you don't always get that many copper bars, but that's pretty nice. It's like, why do you always look so happy? Actually, the question, it's like, why do you always look so happy? The, the, the question feels different when somebody asks, like, sorry, why do you look angry? Know what I mean? I don't mind if somebody asks me, sorry, why do you look happy? I'm like, I don't know. Like Cyric, why do you look angry? I kind of, I wouldn't say that triggers me, but it's kind of annoying. Kind of stupid, dumb question. Um, this goes there, dude. Like we are sorting out, we are sorting out machines here today. Why do you look mentally stable, says survivable? I don't know. Do I look mentally stable? Thank you. 
Thank you very much. You yell at chat no matter what we ask, says Matthew Spellman. I don't yell at chat. I've never yelled at you guys. <laughs> it's like rage quits. Stop it. Guys, stop it. I even forgot that we had a poll there. And, uh... Oh, wow, these answers are very close to one another. so cool if they added a casino sure again i didn't say that somebody said in the chat that'd be cool if they added a casino in the game <sighs> where do i drop these guns i have space but i don't want to drop them with garbage where do i keep them hmm where do i keep my garbage weapons where do i keep these other weapons whatever i'll just think it's full Whatever, I'll drop the shoddy here, and we'll figure it out later. Can you adopt me? I don't think so. I'm sorry. Just delete them. Okay, that's over the top. We're not gonna delete guns. I can delete armor. We can delete like some other goop, but we're never gonna delete a gun. I don't even delete Winchesters. Okay, let's open up now that crate. If you are a grenade launcher, Cyric will definitely adopt you, says MLBB. Hmm. Yeet the puppies, won't solve the problem, but still, says the... I actually agree, there are, there are way too many of them. Every time I feed them, they eat too much. <sighs> Unbelievable. How do I win the lottery? I don't know. You get lucky, I guess. Okay, so we're probably going to open up the fourth crate, so... All of these votes are very, very similar. Uh... Yeah, so let's go for the fourth crate because you guys voted for the fourth crate. So let's open it up. Um. Yeah, let's go for it. I've almost opened up the first crate. Actually, we've just opened up the fourth crate last time. Could open up the CYF crate, but whatever. You voted for the fourth. Let's open up the fourth. Let's do it. You voted for it. Let's open it up. Okay, we got three guns. Three Genesis weapons. I will take them. We got another hazmat armor that doesn't fit in my base, so I'm not taking it. A stack of first aid kits, almost a stack. Plus another gas cylinder. Those things and seaweed. Okay. So, this crate is nice if you want to recycle your hazmat jackets into lead plates and other stuff. Like, if you want to recycle that entire hazmat suit into lead plates. Should've went for the second crate, the CYF crate. I haven't opened up that second crate in a long time. So I need to open it up. Is the lag uh, in emulators fixed? Nope, it's still not fixed. It's still there. What do you use to play last in Earth and Peace? I use Mimo Player, but currently it doesn't matter what emulator you use, the game will lag anyways. I tried installing today last and on other emulators and it still lagged. So there's that. Play Rust says Daily Dose. Maybe there will be more Rust. I can't promise. But there might be more Rust. Sorry, more for you to play videos. There will be more for you to play videos for sure. Can't promise when, but there will be more. It's like finished dinner? I didn't have dinner yet. Did you try setting the priority to high on the emulator? It seemed to work for me. Um, 
I mean, I can try it, but I doubt it'll work. I had to do that before. Um, where is it? Where is it? There we go. This one. This one. And let's try to set the priority on high. Will it change anything? Let's try to set on ultra. Nah, it's still the same. Exactly the same. Still 39, 40 FPS here. So no, the priority on ultra doesn't do anything. Days gone live stream. Perhaps one day. Um, let's delete something that we don't need. It's like, but you need everything. I don't need everything. I'm gonna drop these propellers here inside of this rack. You forgot some loot in containers. I left it for later. We didn't forget anything, guys. We took everything there. What do you mean? Greedy Cyric, what do they do now? Can somebody elaborate on that? What do they do now? Buy some FPS from the internet. Hmm. That's a good tip and trick. I totally agree. Okay, that is done. Now we can talk to the raiders and I think we can go for the fourth raid of the day. Your 12-hour idea could be your free-to-play plus regular art, uh, regular alternating idea. Maybe, but again, 12-hour live streams on last on Earth now when the interest is at the lowest in the game. It's not really the right thing to do. Like, it's just pointless. Plus, I mean, I'll be honest. I, I'll be bored to play last on Earth for 12 hours. I'd rather get hit with the baseball bat over the head than play last on Earth for 12 hours. Okay, we need to kill the blind one. I can do this. And the second floor. We could maybe do that as well. Let's quickly do this and let's go for the raid. And it's like you guys would watch 12 hours of last night. Let's be completely honest. I could bet there, there's not a single viewer in the chat that would watch that 12 hour last night live stream here. It's like I would, of course you would, of course. I totally believe you. And... Uh, yeah, okay, the blind one and the, the, the second floor is Bunker Alpha, we said, though. And again, it depends, right? If for 12 hours we just keep doing raids, I mean, that would be get boring fast, but still, that'd be more interesting. I mean, if we have to do 12-hour live stream, it's not gonna be... It's not going to be as interesting, right? Like I'll be, I'd be farming ash trees for for most of the time. I would gladly watch it. Says MLBB. Okay, that's just a fat lie, guys. Stop it. Just stop it. Get some help. Okay, let's bring these basic weapons, basic weapons, AKs. Um, some miniguns, some more shotguns perhaps, and flare guns. Will that be enough? I don't know. 12 hour rust maybe. I mean, I would like playing rust for 12 hours. Perhaps one day, that's actually a lot more plausible than a 12 hour last dinner at live stream. Like, I'm fine to live stream last dinner two, three, maybe four hours, but like 12 hours, that's like, I think, overdoing it. But it also depends, right? So, yeah. 
Uh, nothing, nothing. We got this, the shotties, and we are ready. How about 12 hours of Google Chrome dinosaur game? 12 hours, come, fresh start. 12 hours, Geo Guess, a live stream. Again, doing 12 hour live streams is not that difficult. Like, I could definitely do it. But. It's not worth it. As I said, majority of the people won't watch that 12 hour live stream anyway. So, what's the point to. to do it? Like, there is absolutely no point to do it. That's why I try to stick to live streams that are like two, three hours long. Like sometimes I do four or five, five hours when the game is a little bit longer, when there are more things to do. But usually I try to stick to shorter live streams because then at least I can add timestamps to those live streams and more people can watch it. If I'm going to do a 12, 12 hour live stream, like nobody's going to go through those timestamps. Nobody will care about that. Twelve hours of Cyric live story. Hmm. I need a password though, and nobody gave it in the chat. Apparently, I have to do it myself. Thank you guys for letting me find the password myself. Okay, so some of you are typing the password. I don't know if I trust you. If you bamboozled me this time, that's it. My trust is forever gone. It worked. Thank you guys for the right password. Thank you. I see lots of. Nice passwords in the chat. Lots of right passwords. Lots of correct passwords. Not a single fake password. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. You have evolved. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. 12 hours. Build your own Cyric tutorial. What? It's like, how to get your backpack skin? Sadly, it's impossible. So do we clear it in hard mode? I mean, I can quickly ask the poll. Uh, Bunker Alpha, hard mode or normal mode? Uh, hard mode, normal mode. Yeah, I'll quickly do a poll, like 30 second a minute poll to see what you guys want me to do. Because I always assume that hard mode is more interesting than normal mode, but we'll see. Maybe I am just... Maybe I'm just assuming incorrectly. It's not like I'll melee in normal mode. Of course, hard mode. Let's make it exciting. Okay, so, so far 70% of people are voting for hard mode. Okay, so let's go for it. Again, that was a very short poll, but uh, whatever, it's good enough. Let's activate the hard mode then. Normal modes with grenades. We don't do that trick here. The grenade toilet sh toilet trick has been out like for years now. But yeah, I never did it, and I'm never doing it. Let's hop to the second floor. Yeah, we quickly need to clear the second floor and then we need to kill the blind one and then we are ready to go for the fourth raid of the day. Probably. Hard mode wasting of guns. That's what we do here. What else am I going to do with these guns? Waste of bunker alpha. It's not a waste of bunker alpha. It depends on how you view it. I'm not here to get the loot in Bunker Alpha. We already have enough loot. We are here for the content. We are here to do another raid. I'm not here to wall trick float or bloaters. Let's try to pick up all of those things. And I think we should be able to open up another floppy crate today. Yeah, I think we should be able to do that. Another floppy, hey?
forgot the doggo. I don't really take them. As it's kind of pointless. So I didn't forget the doggo. I think it's pointless. That's why I didn't take it. The doggo's useless. Tyke's dog is neglected. Um. Yeah. I guess. Plus, I get to use some different weapons that I usually don't use, like those miniguns and flare guns. So yeah, I'll try to kind of like speed run it. I'll try to do it as fast as possible and not take too much time. 12 hour Bravo spear only. You can't clear Bunker Bravo with spears. Not even in the... Not even during the special event. That's why you should yeet the doggos. Perhaps one day. Okay, that dude should just die with one attack. Francis Giant. Here I wasted some of those flare gun shots because definitely Francis Giant would have died maybe when he had like 50 health or something. He would have burned down from those flares. But uh, it's okay. When they please give us a 12 hour stream, Cyric, we beg you, says MLBB. Perhaps one day. Like, I think it's there's a high chance that we'll do a 12 hour live stream for sure. I just don't know when, but I think there's like a 90% chance that I'll do it. Don't know when and what we'll play and uh, how and yeah I don't know we'll see it all depends and I don't know what but it's very very possible do we need to loot these things do we get anything useful almost nothing so why do I bother Yeah, let's just go. I don't think we'll get, like, anything on these shells. Usually those shells are useless. I've never seen a player doing wall trick with guns. Well, then welcome to, to the channel. Most of the wall tricks here are done with guns on this channel. If you want to learn how to do wall trick, make sure to check out our free-to-play series. We can get that extremely rare card go. You forget tickets, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. You forget tickets, dude. WTF? What do you mean WTF? I forgot tickets. That's it. It happens. It happens to all of us. Oh, no. Not this one. There's the supply crate. Ladies and gents, let's see it. What we can get inside. Tactical backpack. I mean, let's get one more. Let's get it. Let's put it in our inbox. One day, perhaps, we'll use it. Just got my first floppy crate. Says Ed is good luck with that floppy crate. I sometimes forget to read. Says MLBB. Uh, excuse me. That is not normal. I'll be completely honest with you. I don't think that's normal. That's really not normal. Totally not normal. And that is it. We are almost done with the second floor. Then we just have to kill the blind one and we can go for the second raid. There's like, what, 20% left? Maybe 25% of this. Uh, this second floor. Oh, no. Okay, everything's fine. Okay, 
the shot is gonna break very soon. Oh, we did it. We got the frenzy giant and we still have the shotty. Okay, let's warm up the minigun. Actually, I want to get rid of the shotgun and uh, let's get a better weapon like this M16. I will warm up this broken minigun. Because it just broke. Plus, we're getting some more points for another cargo crate. We should definitely be getting more points in hard mode, but Ralph, I don't know why we're not getting more points. They should definitely improve Bunker Bravo. Like, give us better loot here. Because we definitely don't get good enough loot. Like, totally, we don't get good enough loot. We just get goop, kinda. That's not cool. Can you scream, Yeehaw! Cyrex is B. Thanks, mate. Thanks for the super chat. Hopefully that was sufficient. That was my best yeehaw I could do. My best Texan yeehaw. Maybe upgrade your guns on a bench. Oh, there's a bench here. We can definitely upgrade them. Thanks, man. I think I would have totally forgotten about that. I almost never use this place. So I always forget about it. Not sufficient. Well, I apologize then. I apologize that it wasn't sufficient. There ain't nothing I can do about it. That was my entire cowboy energy. Cowboyin? My entire cowboy energy. Oh my goodness, I'll get hit in the face. Well, we survived. That's fine, guys. Everything was calculated. I knew that we can survive, so I took that risk. Haven't gotten revenge raids in six days, even at four skulls. Says Sam, well, yikes. That is sad. That is it, but the bolts, what, we were, we were supposed to pick up bolts? Excuse me? Takes two hits, everything is calculated. I mean, I had four bandages. That's what was calculated. I knew that we won't die there with those four bandages. Still got that Bluetooth hit. Unbelievable. The risk taker is Cyric. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Cyric, the risk taker. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. What can I say? Okay, that's enough armor and that's enough weapons for the blind ones. So let's right away hop to that third floor. You know what, Psych? Bunkerauf is the only place you can get bolts. Wait, what? You can do get bolts from Bunkerauf. Huh? You get bolts there. Tags, dude. Did I forget to get the items? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I sorry though? Let's be honest. Bluetooth punch. I mean, that's what they do. Those frenzy giants. They punch us across, across the map. What else can it be? Wi-Fi punch. Okay, let's warm up the minigun. There we go. It's fine if you will pick it up off camera, says MLB. Yes, guys, I will pick up those tickets off camera. Again, that's why... That's why this hour, this live stream is only like about two hours. If it was like a 12-hour live stream, I would go back. I would pick up those tickets now. Here, I'll pick, the, pick them up off camera. As why would you guys want to look at another loading screen? Like, we need to progress. We need to constantly move forward here during the live stream. 
when will you finish broadcasting when I click the stop streaming button? Okay, let's heal up. Let's hide here. Let's get this. No, I'm an idiot! Wasted. All the damage wasted. I loved good old last dinner trial. I mean, it's still the same. Honestly. It's still good old last dinner survival. I wish the stop streaming button stops working, says MLBB. Hmm. I added, I clicked it too early. In how many minutes from now are you going to finish broadcasting? I know. The answer is just... I have no idea. We will kill the blind man. We'll go for the raid. I'll do some geoguess or maybe we'll chat with the chat. And then I'll be wrapping it up. But how many minutes is that? I don't know. I don't have a slightest clue. Broadcasting last on Earth. It's kind of weird, the word broadcast. It is a weird word, I agree. But hey, what can I say? We are broadcasting last on Earth. What do the alarms do? They stop the blind one from healing. I got a gas cylinder yesterday from that blind one. From this dude, you got a gas cylinder yesterday? I don't believe it. I call that bull crap. Okay, there we go. Now let's open up the flappy crate. Plus, yeah, we're gonna open up the flappy crate. So now, we're gonna open up the flappy crate. We will do a raid. We will play some Geogasser. So those are the things that we'll do. Did you know the Scrum is located in Croatia? Yes. Scrum is developed by Croatian devs. It's like, where's the blind one called blind when I have no idea? Because he's probably blind. You have almost 200 red tickets at your base now. Yeah, we have a lot of tickets, plus we have some tickets here. I'm kind of saving them, not saving them. It's like... Oh, well, it's easy to open up those red tickets. Will you broadcast Last on Earth again tomorrow? I think tomorrow I will broadcast again, but if it's Last on Earth or not, I don't know, we'll see. Probably still going to be Last on Earth. Maybe I'll live stream something else. I mean, I don't know what else I could live stream if it's not Last on Earth. Maybe some Rust, but again, I doubt it. I'm not ready for a longer live stream tomorrow. Because I'll have to do other stuff, I'll have to edit the video and etc, etc, so I don't- I won't be able to do a longer live stream. So we'll see, probably it'll be last on Earth, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I have forgot to give the- to give the tags. I forgot to give the tags. Okay, let's give them now. Flappy disk. Yeah, yeah, guys, I know I forgot about the flappy disk. I'll try to get it now. Bam, and bam. And we've opened up lots of flappy disk. Uh, lots of flappy disks recently. As soon as I started... Opening up... As soon as I started doing bu hard mode bunker alphas instead of normal ones, we started opening up way more flappy crates. Who would have thought? Didn't activate. No, don't tell me I didn't activate it. What's going on today with me? My brain doesn't work. Didn't I activate it? Or did I activate it? I don't remember. I actually don't remember. Oh no, I didn't activate it. We have to go back, guys. We have to activate it. 
We have to go back and then we can activate it. Unbelievable. You forgot the poster. It's fine. We're not going to pick up all of those posters anyways. I'll have them for later. I'll pick up those posters. I'll pick up those posters off camera. Yeah, guys. I'll grind off camera. Brain cell dry. It's absolutely dry. Today, brain cell is dry. So let's try to rehydrate it. Let's drink some water. Wow, so many loading screens. I apologize for these loading screens. Still unbelievable how long it takes to load everything up. Okay. Thank you. And now I'm stinking. Playing last on Earth with last brain cell be like, exactly. That's the experience, guys, you'd have if you had only one brain cell. You'd forget everything. Drop the red tickets in bunk for Alpha. Yep. My loading screen takes like one minute. I mean, I hate loading screens. Everybody hates loading screens. Uh, red tickets. Where do I store them? There we go. Here they are. You know what? Let's go to that floppy crate right away. That's it. There we go. No, that's not where I'm going. We need to go to this place. That'll be infected. If it's an infected floppy crate. <sighs> we just prefer to read the chat. That's why you don't focus on the game. I mean, that's why I wouldn't be able to play last night for 12 hours because... I mean, it's fine to play for a few hours, but playing it longer than that... There isn't much to do. Like, I'd rather read the chat. That's why most of the time I spend reading the chat. Hating loading screens be like, I don't need a field. I need to play now. Yes. I don't need a field. I don't get it. I don't understand that. I don't need a field. But yeah, they could definitely make loading screens a bit better. When they said that they'll change the loading screen, like we'll get a new uh, art. I assume that they'll, they would have changed these loading screens, but they changed the other one, the main loading screen, which is fine. But hey, who knows, perhaps the next update will get another loading screen. They could have made those loading screens interactive. I would have appreciated that. Like in Skyrim, when you load in, there's that 3D model and you can play with it. You can spin it around like they'll show you a bow or a random weapon or something and you can spin it around. I'd love to do that in Last Enter. Would be fun. Nice! A normal crate, guys! A normal crate! We need a new 5-6 raid video from you. Uh, perhaps one day. I mean, we do plenty of raids during live streams. Hmm. That's it. We did it. We've opened up the crate. Let's skedaddle from here. I need to get that white paint, even though I don't really need it. But... Let's just pick it up. You see, somebody just said white paint. There's no way that they commented that white paint when they took it. They commented that white paint before I even took it. That's why I took that white paint, so that people don't comment white paint. Even though I absolutely don't need it. We have, like, already, like, hundreds of that stuff in the base. I just need to take it. So that don't people yell at me. I don't like when people yell at me. So that's why I am forced to take garbage. There we go, gone. The white paint is gone. And two springs, guys. We're not taking the two springs and the white paint. We already have like hundreds of that white paint in the base. We have a lot of it. I heard you can get a floppy disk from a floppy crate. Nah, 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 that's not true. 
That is not true. Take the white paint for the time when trading comes to the game. Okay, that's a this is the funniest comment I've read today. That's a very nice comment. Mm, flare guns and these weapons go here. There we go. Oh my goodness, the C4s, they don't fit. Well, these two broken guns are useless. I'm not going to take them anywhere with me anyway, so I might as well just delete them. Floppy disks go here. Copper and steel goes up there. And smelly cider. Yes, we need to take a shower. I agree. Mm, the brain is working at half capacity. That one brain cell is working at half of its capacity. Real trading will come out to the game when the game comes out of beta. I don't think the game will ever come out of beta. And even when it comes out of beta, I don't think we'll ever get trading. As we al we already had a c that conversation about trading during the last live stream. Like, people don't want trading in the game. They want to give you three wood for three ATB transmissions. That's the kind of trading they want. Like... Yeah. People don't want fair trading. They just want free loot. Which again, I don't care. They can add trading. Like, it doesn't really matter to me. But as I said, people just want free loot. Like, they'll be trading those ATV transmissions, but like... Okay, what are you gonna give to those people, those ATV transmissions? B says, say in clan chat, Star Snipe isn't a real cowboy. I'm not gonna say that. Star Snipe is a real cowboy. Star Snipe is a realer cowboy than me. I have no idea where the where Star, Star Snipe is from, but he's a way realer cowboy than me. So B, thanks for the super chat, but sadly, no, I cannot do that. I cannot say that Star Snipe is not a real cowboy. Because he is a real cowboy. From all the cowboys that I know, he's the realest one. This and uh, five iron hatchets. Nobody understands Star Snipe when he talks. Don't talk garbage about Star Snipe. Star Snipe is amazing. Shout out to Star Snipe. Star Snap is like a brother to me, but closer. Okay, let's get five more hatchets. And what do we take? Two, C two blocks, I guess. Bam, and this. We are absolutely ready. Let's mod the Glocks. And let's go. Shout out to devs to give some paint cabinet. I don't understand the question. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. The raiders are gone. That is it. We are ready to go for that raid, ladies and gents. The fourth raid of the day. Not the first, second, or third, but the fourth raid. Just kind of ridiculous, to say the least. Wait, is it a fourth raid or, or the third raid? To those that have seen the live stream from the beginning, is it the third or the fourth raid? I feel like it's the fourth raid. A C4. We have a C4 in the inbox. I forgot about it. I should have taken it there. We'll see if the raid requires a C4. Maybe I'll hop back in the base and I'll get that C4. We'll probably do this. YouTube. Raid. Okay, LDOE raid player 9408. Hmm. 
An absolute hmm. We need a C4 though. But do I Whatever, let's just go for it. We'll get the C4 later. Would you like skins for guns? I wouldn't matter, but they're they're kind of small anyway, so having skins for guns wouldn't really matter. I guess. It's like, do you think Steel Worlds are just too expensive? They are pretty expensive indeed. Where do you even drop that C4? It's a bit different raid than I saw. Okay, so we'll kind of raid it randomly then. I'll place the C4 here on this door. All right. Do I need one more C4? Guys, do you want me to explode one more C4? Let me know. I will place one more C4 there in that room. But it's completely a different raid. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get destroyed here. Yeah, it is a different base. They say, yes, do it, blind raid. Okay, let's go for it. It's a blind raid then. Let's use one more C4. It just might be an ATV room or something, maybe. Like, I'm almost sure we'll waste that C4, but hey. Why not explode it? Okay, we got two more chests. Let's see if those two chests were worth it. If they were worth that extra C4. Tungsten or those crates inside. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Okay, I'll open up those crates right away. I want to see if that investment was worth it. We've gotten a steel plate, one bandage. And there's one more chest. Helicopter transmission inside. And nothing in this chest. Whoa. So one C4 for one steel plate. A bandage and some other garbage. It wasn't worth it. But whatever. At least now we know. Let's deal with another way. Worth it entirely. Cyric won nothing. I mean, we got a steel plate. So that is something. Um, nothing useful. Okay, I'm not taking that then. Let's open up some more crates. Plus, wait, my gun is broken. You're running out of wood. Nah, it's fine. We will... We still have enough wood at the base. And once we run out of that wood, I think we should have some... Some some ready meals to to get that wood. So we kind of did it. We raided this place. Does it get Sykes approval? So yeah, that was the raid. It was kind of a meh raid. I expected this raid to be a bit better. So I assume this was a fourth raid. I know what raid this is, maybe fourth raid. You forgot five bolts and 17 berries of the eight. I apologize. My apologies. I love them for later. I'll get them off camera. Two C fours equals nothing. Pretty much. Pretty much right. Let's get the let's drop the shoddy shotgun, 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 shotgun will go here. The M16 goes there. You know what? I'm still happy that we've done those raids, right? I, I can't control if it's a good or a bad raid. I can just give you a raid. Um 
that's it. Yeah, we did it. We just need to pay the raiders. So let's try to go and pay them. Raiders, raiders. What do they want? Of course they want that electronic circuit. We could give them just those modded spears, but... Whatever. An electronic circuit it is. Let's share that. And let's... Call them on the radio again. Let's maybe see what kind of other tasks we need to do. How's it like to live in France? I don't know. Country like country. Nothing... Nothing extraordinary. I mean, I don't really know how to answer that question every time people ask, like, how it's like to live in, like, X and Y country. So there's that. I don't know how to answer the question. Normal, I guess. What I do know how to do, though, and what to do, though, and whatever. You got the point. We're gonna touch the- we're gonna touch some grass and GeoGuessr. GeoGuessr, ladies and gentlemen. So buckle up, buckaroos. As you're about to see how I lose on the first guess. It's come livestream tomorrow. Maybe, maybe. I can't promise anything as we never know, but maybe. Probably it'll be just last on Earth, to be completely honest. But maybe there's a chance that we might play some scum survival. It's good living on sun. It's not cold here, says Born says. All right. Uh, I'm gonna make a poll here. Tomorrow's stream. Um. There you go, guys. There are only four people here. I'm competing against four people. Unbelievable. So, guys, you can vote in the chat for tomorrow's live stream. It doesn't mean that I'll follow... Follow what it says. It's just... It's just something random. Just, I'm curious. Yeah, so we're somewhere in Africa, I guess. Maybe. Where is the sun? The sun is that way. I mean, it kind of looks like South... South America. But I doubt it. I mean, I'll go for this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I voted maybe a bit too early. It was in South America! Whoa! Whoa! That was a terrible guess, but I still survived, guys. I told you that it might have been South America. I told you that. Okay, so yeah, Last on Earth is winning by a mile here. 63% of players voted for... Viewers voted for Last on Earth tomorrow. So, yeah. So, I guess we have a winner. I have no idea where we are. I mean, it's not Japan, is it? Taiwan or Japan? I don't know, man. Uh, it's definitely not that. I'm on the first spot. I voted a bit too early, should have waited. Nah, it's fine, it's good. Ladies and gentlemen, it was actually Japan. Well, that was a good guess. Maybe I'm going against noobs. I mean, it was a bad guess. It was Japan, not Taiwan, but... Good guess nonetheless. We're still in the first spot.
Okay, we're driving on the left side here. Um, the sun is also in the south here. That means we're in the north. Kilometers per hour. I mean, what is it? Australia somewhere? I mean, it can't be England. There's no way it's England. There's no way it's England. I don't believe that it's England. It has to be UK, but it looks very... I mean, it's probably UK, but it doesn't look like UK at all. Maybe it is. Whatever. I'm going for UK. If it's not UK, then... Well... I won! Ladies and gentlemen, it was Ireland! Whoa! Whoa! It was a pretty decent guess. The dude didn't even guess. Not UK speed is kilometers per hour. Do they drive with miles per hour in UK? In any case, we did it. That was like I had some bad guesses, but we still won. We went uh, up against noobs and we won. That is good enough. That's a good enough guess. And yeah, 77, 67% uh, of people have voted for tomorrow's live stream, and that is last on Earth. So most likely it'll be a last on Earth live stream tomorrow. So yeah, I made it for the Joe guesser. Uh, I guess. I guess so. So yeah, guys, we will be wrapping it up now. Thanks for joining everybody. See you tomorrow with another Last Dinner live stream. Unless we, I change my mind and we do something else. I don't know. Hey okay, guys, you voted. And see you tomorrow. Ciao, mouth, mouth breathers, says the A. Ciao. Ciao, everybody. Take care. Thanks for joining. Shout out to all of you. Thank you for being here. And see you later, everybody. Take care, take care. Take care, guys. Peace out. See you.